Hey, what's up, guys? This is Notorious from Power PC Assemblers, and um, this channel is new, and it will be about um, modding PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. We'll have tutorials on a whole bunch of coding languages, such as C++, C, and C Sharp. And this is the first tutorial for PlayStation 3. And so, in this tutorial, I'll cover how to find some addresses. And um, so, what you're going to need will be provided in the description. You will need IDA Pro Advanced Edition with uh, the PlayStation 3 plugins. And now, you will need your default underscore mp.l for the game you're finding this address for. But this particular tutorial is for Call of Duty Ghosts 1.12, but actually all updates. So, now you're going to uh, load up IDA and uh, you're going to see a whole bunch of tabs open and you'll see enums, uh, hex view, IDA view, structs, and a whole bunch of other shit. But what you need is strings, IDA view A, and hex view A. So to get strings, just go to View, Open Subviews, and Strings. I already have that open. So now you're going to search for a string. We're going to find G Spawn. So you're going to search Weapon underscore percent S. You're going to double click it. Now you'll see a cross reference. It will say Data XREF. And now you will see Sub underscore and then some numbers. Just double click that sub underscore. And now you're going to right click. It should bring you to weapon underscore percent as string. So just right click and hit graph view. And now just scroll all the way up above in that graph. You'll see a sub underscore. Now just come down to this BL. This right here is your G spawn. So now I'm just going to press Alt P and we can rename this to G Spawn. Um, yeah, hold on. So let me just do this again for you guys. So you're going to load the XREF of the string. Uh, yeah, just like this, double click it, hit the sub, it'll bring you to weapon underscore percent s. Make sure you're in graph view. Scroll all the way up to the top of the graph, and you'll see g underscore spawn. This sub right here is g spawn. The weapon underscore percent s is a string that is located near g spawn, and I like to use it to find the address. So then once you come to here, that's g spawn. Alright guys, so, sorry about that, I had to go do something, um, so now we got G spawn, we got G spawn, so now we're going to find C buff add text, and this is the string, you're just going to double click it, load the xref, and then you'll see C buff add text. So we'll say BL and then sub. So now this, you could double click it, you could rename it, you could do whatever. We're going to rename it. Name a function. This is C buff add text. Perfect. So now that we got C buff add text and G spawn. So now we're going to find G entity and G client and the player state size and the um, entity size. So we're going to type SCR underscore percent S. Now you're going to load the cross reference. You're going to right click once you load it. You're going to go to graph view. And now you're going to, you should extend your graph overview all the way up just so you can get a better look at the whole graph now you're going to move your like rectangular graph view shit 
and it's going to be moved like around in this area. Now right here you have your entity size which is 0x280 for Call of Duty Ghost PlayStation 3. 0x280 is um, the entity size for most of the Call of Duties. So now your PlayStation size for Ghost 1.12 is right under that and it's 0x3700. This is the client interval used to make an address for all clients. So now you're going to scroll up three, no, four functions above this entity size and player state size. And this top address right here is going to be G entity. So we could just name this G entity. And now over here, it's kind of like the middle address and it's a unk underscore unk underscore and it's like in the middle of the function this is g client or player state we're going to rename this to uh, player state or g client and do g client so there you go today we found g spawn c buff add text G client and G entity and we also found G entity size and player state size. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and yeah so please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I hope you like our new channel.